Welcome to Five Mantra Career Point. I am Naresh, History Faculty. Today we are discussing about uh, 20, uh, target 2022 IS. Okay. We proudly announced that uh, we are starting, we are launching civil services classes in uh, Five Mantra Career Point. Okay. Offline classes will be start on uh, 14th February, 14th February 5 p.m. onwards. Okay, please enroll for uh, 2022 patches. Okay, today I am going to discussing about uh, civil services pattern of history. Today session I am talking about uh, civil services. Okay, in that uh, history part. Okay, from uh, past 15 years, I am working as a history lecturer in various uh, coaching centers. Okay, first I will start with uh, previous questions, previous questions analysis. Okay, from 2010, I took, uh, I took uh, previous questions from 2010 to 2021. Okay, here uh, history part divide into ancient India, medieval India, modern India and culture part. Right? From this, every year minimum we are getting 20 questions, maximum we are getting 25 questions. Okay, first we will see with the previous statistics. Okay, based on statistics we can give importance in exam, in examination preparation. Based on statistics we should allocate time to each segment, each subject, within the subject and chapters. Based on uh, marks, we should allocate time, we should allocate the uh, resources and etc, etc. First, we will start with uh, okay, previous questions. Uh, 2010, in 2010 from ancient, uh, okay, we, did not, we did not get anything, but uh, in medieval we got uh, one question, one question and uh, modern 12 questions and uh, modern 12 questions and uh, from culture 2 questions and in 2011, Okay, from ancient we got three questions. We got three questions and uh, in medieval from one question and uh, modern from eight questions and uh, culture from zero questions, culture from zero questions. And in 2012, four questions from ancient India, one question from medieval and uh, 13 questions from modern India and uh, three questions from a cultural part of in culture. Culture, okay, from 2013, uh, three questions 233 questions from ancient, uh, medieval uh, 0 questions, modern 6 questions and culture 7 questions, culture 7 questions, okay. Based on these statistics we can say that UPS as UPSC aspirants should not focus on single segment. Sometimes they are giving importance to ancient, sometimes they are giving importance to modern and culture aspects, culture, right and uh, 15 only one from uh, Okay, see 2014, 15, uh, 16, 17, only one question from ancient India. Only one question from ancient India. Okay, 2014, three questions from medieval, three, uh, 15, three questions from the medieval, three questions from the medieval. And again in uh, 17, only one question. And uh, in 18, uh, completely zero questions. Zero questions. And again uh, from uh, 2019, it was increased. Two questions, three questions, three questions. Okay, and... Uh, 5 questions, 8 questions, 6 questions, 7 questions, 14 questions, 9 questions, 6 questions, 9 questions, 10 questions. Right, like that. Okay, regularly we are getting questions, more questions from the modern India also. So, we should concentrate on modern India. Right, first we will start with the syllabus of ancient India. Okay, syllabus of ancient India. Remember, okay. Uh, <coughs> Indian history syllabus divide into four parts. Indian history, ancient India, medieval India, modern India and culture part. But, uh, but many people separated culture from uh, Indian history. But we should not separate. Okay. 
to easily remember we should read culture along with ancient india along with medieval india otherwise you will easily forget culture ni separate chesi chadivinappude em avuthundante culture vere subject ayipoyindi ee ancient medieval vere subject ayipoyindi danivalla manam nashtapoye avakasham undi so along with the ancient medieval we should learn culture part we should learn culture part okay okay first of all i'll start with the uh, ancient indian syllabus ancient indian syllabus okay ancient indian syllabus start with the uh, prehistoric cultures and and remember okay uh, in our syllabus they started giving questions from a uh, prehistoric cultures of india but uh, before learning uh, prehistoric cultures definitely we should concentrate on sources to study sources to study history okay sources without sources sources is foundation for the history sources is foundation for the history so first we start with the first chapter sources but you will not get marks from source but you can easily understand other chapters you can easily understand other chapters so in a uh, sources we talked about uh, uh, inscriptions numismatic evidences numismatic evidences means uh, coins okay epigraphy okay study of in, uh, inscriptions was called as epigraphy study of coins is called as numismatics and uh, study of old books and records paleography philology okay these all come under basics without foundation without basics we cannot learn okay history based on foundation you can build the better building manaki illu gatte tappudu kachithanga punadi estam punadi tarvate pani illu gadtam kani punadi lekunda illu gadte untunda pedda galochana kotukobothundi so foundation is most important okay foundation is basic is most important so in uh, basics we learn about how, how how to read history where to read history okay why historians divided uh, history into parts why historians uh, created this much of the source everything in that most important is uh, carbon dating system uranium dating system numismatic evidence epigraphical evidence literature religious literature secular literature indian literature foreign literature okay these sources how influencing indian history how influencing how learning indian history to study about history we need to follow sources then only we should start prehistoric cultures prehistoric culture nothing but uh, paleolithic mesolithic okay in uh, upsc they are uh, mixing chapters sometimes they are uh, mixing uh, chapters okay from uh, prehistoric cultures from uh, other uh, cultures they are mixing the questions in the math the following they are giving from one chapter three four chapters rendu mood chapter lanu kalipesi oka chapter oka question kinda frame chestunar so we cannot uh, we cannot eliminate or we cannot give up that chapters ఒకవేళ వదిలేస్తే మనము ఇబ్బందులు ఎదుర్కొంటాం అనమాట ఇబ్బందులని ఎదుర్కొంటాము రైట్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ చాప్టర్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ చాప్టర్ వీ టాక్ అబౌట్ పారాలిథిక్ మెజోలిథిక్ అండ్ హ్యూమన్ కల్చర్స్ రైట్ అండ్ సెకండ్ చాప్టర్ రిలేటెడ్ టు జియోగ్రఫికల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్స్ ఆఫ్ పాస్టోరల్ అండ్ ఫార్మింగ్ కమ్యూనిటీస్ ఓకే సింప్లీ నియోలిథిక్ సింప్లీ నియోలిథిక్ right neolithic to iron pace in this chapter we discuss about neolithic and iron pace right the third chapter indus valley civilization okay the most important for our exam okay recently dholavira recognized as a world heritage site by unesco so in 2021 question also in 2021 exam also they asked okay asked about dolavira so we should connect history with current definitely current right origin of indus valley civilization and uh, development of indus valley civilization mature phase mature phase of indus valley civilization okay culture culture of indus valley civilization extent extent means boundaries uh, total area 
okay north boundary of indus valley civilization south boundary of indus valley civilization okay west boundary of indus valley civilization east boundary of indus valley civilization society okay society means uh, family means group of people okay and uh, group of families is called as society so people's life within the indus valley society and economy okay related to agriculture or trade or uh, living pattern everything discussed in uh, indus uh, economy okay indus having commercial relations with uh, uh, mesopotamian so they may ask questions like that okay commercial relations with other uh, nations that was explained that was explained uh, in this chapter right and uh, culture of indus valley and contacts with other cultures okay indus valley civilization had contacts indus valley civilization had contacts with uh, mesopotamian civilization mesopotamian civilization so related to mesopotamian and indus valley okay maybe they asked questions in this topic we discuss about uh, okay cultural relations with uh, and trade relations is mesopotamia right indus valley and uh, connected to mesopotamian and problems of decline okay and floods theory floods theory indus floods theory or earthquake theory or uh, deforestation theory deforestation theory or aryan invasion theory these theories explained in this chapter to uh, to describe decline of Indus Valley civilization. Okay, regularly examine, uh, examination, uh, question paper, uh, preparer, uh, preparing person, mixing uh, areas from uh, first chapter and third chapter. Prehistoric chapter, ni, alage Indus Valley civilization chapter, ni, mix chesi exam laduta on nadu. So, manamu, okay, vadaleyal sundu. And uh, remember, okay, kachitanga. Kachitanga Manamu, e topic ni Chadavalsun. Definitely you will get one mark from uh, uh, Indus Valley Civilization. Okay, Ikada Manaki, Rendmud chapter Gal Poko question Jep Aduta Unadu. So Manamu, Ikada Chadavalsun Tundan Mata, right? And uh, next chapter was Vedic Society. Okay, in Vedic Society, Vedic literature, Vedic text, Vedas, Upanishads, Aranyakas, Brahmanas, and uh, Vedangas. Smritis, okay, Smritis, Smriti literature, Smriti literature, okay, Smriti literature, Smriti literature, and uh, uh, Veda, uh, Vedangas, Shad Darshanas, Upavedas, we discussed in this chapter, in this chapter, and uh, Rig Vedic period and later Vedic period, okay, in this chapter, we should discuss about uh, conditions of human in Rig Vedic period. Society during Rig Vedic period, economy during Rig Vedic period, and uh, social life during Rig Vedic period, religious life during Rig Vedic period, and, uh, and later Vedic period. In this space also we discuss about uh, social uh, life of uh, later Vedic period, economy life of uh, later Vedic period, alage, uh, here uh, religious life of later Vedic people, etc, etc. We discuss in this chapter, in this chapter, religion. Upanishads, Upanishad thoughts, okay, we have number of, we have 108 Upanishads, okay, some Upanishads are uh, regularly asking in examination, okay, Sveteshara Upanishad that deals with Bhakti, okay, and uh, uh, remember, <coughs> and Mahopanishad that is uh, Vasudaika Kutumbakam concept, Vasudaika Kutumbakam concept, discussed in uh, Mahopanishad and uh, Super Soul concept discussed in Chandoga Upanishad like that questions may ask from this chapter and uh, Aitareya Brahmana in Aitareya Brahmana they mentioned a statement daughter is the one of the reason for misery son is the only savior of the family. This statement was mentioned in Aitareya Brahmana Aitareya Brahmana Atarvana Veda Okay, discuss about war. War started in the mind of human. 
war start in the mind of human. This type of statements may ask from this chapter. Okay, statement based questions also increasing from uh, uh, day by day. Okay, we should also concentrate on uh, statement based questions. Okay, which book here? Uh, ఒక స్టేట్మెంట్ అది ఏ బుక్ లో ఉంది అనేటువంటి క్వశ్చన్ అడుగుతా ఉన్నారు ఓకే దేనికి సంబంధించి అడుగుతా ఉన్నారు సో వి షుడ్ రిమెంబర్ రైట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ చాప్టర్ స్టేట్ ఫార్మేషన్ అండ్ అర్బనైజేషన్ ఓకే రిలేటెడ్ టు సిక్స్త్ సెంచురీ బిసి ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ వి డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ సిక్స్ సెంచురీ బిసి సిక్స్ సెంచురీ బిసి కండిషన్ సిక్స్ సెంచురీ బిసి conditions right and uh, form the mahajanapadas mahajanapadas okay maha means great jana jana means people pada means settlements means uh, development of greatest kingdoms development of greatest kingdoms during 6th century bc 16 greatest kingdoms was evolved in uh, india out of 16 14 located in north india 14 located in present india 13 located in north india only one located in present south india remaining two located outside present india it means present pakistan and afghanistan region right and uh, uh, during mahajanapada period three uh, three families ruled magadh magadh became superpower out of 16 janapadas in that haryanka dynasty Sisunaga dynasty and Nanda dynasty. These three families created, these three families created Magad as a superpower. Out of 16, Magad became superpower. Okay, in this chapter, we discuss about how Magad became superpower. Okay, Magad ane yandu kai indi ane amsha ane koda highlight jesta mo. And also discuss about Haryankas, Sisunagas, Nandas in this chapter. And... Uh, During 6th century BC, 62 heterodox movements were started. Out of 62, out of 62, only 4 became uh, religions, that is Jainism and Buddhism. Ajivaka and Charvaka. Ajivaka and Charvaka. Okay, Charvaka is nothing but atheist, atheistic philosophy. Jainism related to, okay, Tirdankaras in Buddhism. okay we talked about uh, buddha and his teachings buddha and his teachings okay and uh, buddha and teachings and after death of buddha councils councils factors of the spread of buddhism for spread of jainism spread of jainism okay and uh, in this chapter in 18 in 19 regularly we are getting questions from buddhism from jainism okay this year we got question from buddhism next year we are getting question from jainism okay one by one ila change chestha unnadu anamata okay so manamu dinni neglect cheyalemu ee rendu kachithanga chadavali definitely we are getting one question from buddhism or jainism buddhism or jainism so definitely we are getting question so we should not neglect okay but in this chapters they are asking not basical questions okay they are testing in depth knowledge okay parivajakas okay parivajakas anekanta vada anekanta vada anekanta vada philosophy related to that that philosophy related to jainism this was a previous question previous question from upsc civil services and from buddhism okay sacred books okay who was the authors of books okay and uh, buddha related areas okay in that uh, in that option he mentioned gandhara uh, avanti okay like that areas okay buddhudi ki sambandham leni prantalu evani adigadu so okay avi manamu in depth ga chadinatlayite easy ga ardham avutundi easy ga ardham avutundi and 6th uh, chapter was uh, mauryan empire mauryan empire okay one of the another uh, one of the important chapter definitely you will get one mark from the mauryan empire okay uh, about chandragupta or megasthenes or ashoka okay and ashoka's inscriptions ashoka's inscriptions in indian history ashoka was the first person to issue inscriptions so ashoka inscriptions ashoka dhamma policy 
okay dhamma policy discussed in which inscriptions okay inscription based analyzed questions coming from uh, this chapter this chapter and administration of mauryans okay culture art and ardha shastra okay if you studying about uh, mauryans you should also understand about ardha shastra and uh, megasthenes uh, indica megasthenes he was a foreign ambassador he visited india during uh, chandragupta maurya chandragupta maurya and uh, he wrote indica about indian uh, history about indian history and ardha shastra ardha shastra deals with this was a only this was a most important uh, questions from vr exams to civil services in each and every exam they asked about uh, ardha shastra deals with ardha shastra deals with political state craft political state craft right okay in our exams they are asking in depth knowledge analyze based questions analyze based questions okay and uh, next chapter was a uh, post modern era post modern india okay uh, from 200 bc to uh, 300 ad was considered as a post modern era okay after decline of mauryans to uh, and foundation of uh, gupta dynasty this period was called as post mauryan in this chapter we discuss about origin of uh, caste origin of uh, uh, jatis and shatavahanas 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 okay uh, from shatavahanas also we are getting questions and uh, state formation uh, in uh, peninsular it means uh, related to south india state formation in the south india and sangam text sangam text chola chera pandya uh, sangam means association of poets okay there is a three kingdoms in south india kerala that is uh, uh, that is uh, in tamil nadu north tamil nadu ruled by cholas south tamil nadu ruled by pandyans and uh, kerala ruled by the chera rulers okay pandyans developed uh, pandyans developed uh, sangam meetings so for, for our exam they are asking about uh, sangam text okay tolakapiyam pannirupadam agathiyam shilappadikaram mani megalai these are the epics and important books of uh, books of uh, tamil literature early tamil literature early tamil literature and uh, indo greeks indo greeks shakas parthians kushans okay because of these people total indian history transformed total indian history transformed okay uh, they gave importance to indian culture indian languages okay they developed uh, indian religions like uh, indo greeks developed buddhism shakas developed uh, shaivism and uh, parthians uh, kushans buddhism like that okay if you easily understand you can easily understand history was a very e useful subject and simple subject okay okay role of kanishka in uh, kushana dynasty kushana dynasty and uh, contacts with other world contacts with other world and uh, during this period shaivism became popular so we may get questions on uh, religion okay bhagavatism hinayana and mahayana buddhism during uh, kanishka fourth buddhist council was organized so fourth buddhist council based questions may come from this chapter okay this chapter okay how buddhism split into two major branches okay mahayana and hinayana okay jainism position culture and art related to related to this chapter uh, right and uh, next chapter is uh, the guptas guptas and uh, successors definitely from C upsc okay they are uh, giving they are giving uh, uh, questions less questions from a uh, political aspect okay kings and related art related to administration related to inscriptions related to coins these type of questions are asking but not about wars okay war related years related okay everybody thought that uh, everybody thought that uh, history means years but uh, that uh, Uh, process was completely changed okay in our upsc they never asked uh, single line questions they never asked year based questions okay in a uh, local level they are uh, concentrated on uh, they are concentrated on uh, history uh, especially year based year based or uh, 
uh, otherwise uh, con single line questions, single line questions, right? Okay, your uh, Gupta's, Gupta economy, Gupta society, literature, science and art, these all come under, these all come under Gupta, right? And uh, this is a major, uh, okay, and uh, for UPSC, you should remember terminology, terminology, ancient terminal, definitely we are getting minimum one question from terminology, ancient terminology, okay, related to Jainism or related to Buddhism or related to Mauryan administration, related to, okay, for example, Visti, what is Visti, what is Pranaya, what is Parivrajaka, okay, what is uh, Upanishad, okay, what is mean by Hundi, Okay, these are terms repeating, terminology, we should, dip, we should learn terminology, okay, we should learn terminology, okay, we, we have a number of books, in that uh, most important books was, uh, okay, Krishna Reddy, we have a book called Krishna Reddy, this was a guide, okay, and VK Agnihotri, VK Agnihotri, okay, these two books uh, contains number of uh, terminologies, number of terminologies, okay, number of terminologies after completion of ancient, after completion of medieval, okay, we should concentrate on terminology, right, Parivajaka was uh, one of the important uh, previous term, exam question, Parivajaka, or uh, Sramana, Sramana, this type of uh, terminologies are repeatedly asking, Visti, Pranaya, okay, and uh, uh, Sati, uh, this type of terminology was asking an exam, right, and uh, we'll talk about medieval India, Right, medieval India. Okay, medieval start with early medieval. Early medieval here, uh, major dynasties related uh, Rashtrakutas or Western Chalukyas or Cholas. Okay, Cholas. Okay, Chola Empire. Okay, from Cholas, we should concentrate on art and architecture. Art and architecture. Okay, Cholas developed the uh, Dravida school of architecture. So, uh, in uh, our exam, they may ask about Bradishwara temple or uh, uh, Darasuram, okay, Tribunam Temple, Madurai Meenakshi Temple, okay, these all temples related to architecture, Dravida School of Architecture, okay, and uh, Pallavas, Pallavas developed, uh, Pallavas developed uh, Sanskrit, Pallavas gave importance to Vaidhi culture, okay, Pallavas revived uh, Vaidhi culture, so Vaidhi culture related uh, questions may ask from Pallava dynasty. Okay, in early medieval, questions will come from art and architecture. Okay, art and architecture is a part of culture, but uh, we should not separate culture and art and architecture. We should not separate culture and uh, history. Okay, Chalamanda in Jesarante, culture is separate as Uthrala Chadavite, Maname Marchipoya, Okash Wuntunde, ancient medieval though, culture ni attached to Gazavali. Okay, Palawa related culture, Chola related culture. Western Chalukya related culture, like uh, Rashtrakuta culture, Rajaputra culture, Gupta culture, okay, Kalipi Chadawal Suntundi, Vida Vidaga, Chadawa Kudadu, Vida Vidaga Chadawa Kudadu, right? Early medieval in that uh, most important is Rashtrakutas. Rashtrakutas promoted Jainism and they constructed number of cave temples, for example, Kailasanada Cave Temple. UNESCO declared uh, Kailasanada cave temple of Ellora as a world heritage site. So based on culture, uh, temples, cave temples, okay, this was all comes under art and architecture, art and architecture. Okay, so from early medieval, we should concentrate on art and architecture only, right? And uh, uh, political structures means changing the administrative pattern. Okay, ancient administrative pattern was completely changed in the medieval administrative pattern. Right, and Rajaputras, Rajaputras, okay, and position of women, position of women during early medieval, and Arab Sindh, Sindh, Gajnavis, Gajnavis means uh, Gajni Muhammad invasions, Gajni Muhammad invasions, right, okay, Arabs invasion, why Arabs invaded India, or, uh, okay, in this chapter we discuss about why Arabs arrival to India, arrival to Sindh, why Gajni Muhammad invaded India, Okay, these all come under, these all come under uh, this chapter. Okay, next chapter.
okay cultural trends okay 1750 to 1200 okay religious conditions okay during this period uh, Vaidhika religion transformed into Buddhi, uh, Vaidhik religion transformed into Hinduism. Okay, and uh, Hinduism, different sects became popular. Shaivism, Vaishnavism, Tantric sect, Tantric sect, like that. Okay, we should uh, learn that concept in religious conditions. Okay, construction of uh, temples and monastic institutions. Okay, and uh, during this period, uh, Shankaracharya, Shankaracharya promoted Bhakti, okay, arrival of Islam, Sufism, in this chapter we discuss about Bhakti movement and Sufi movement, Bhakti movement and Sufi movement, okay, literature, literature related to religion, literature related to secular, literature related to, okay, kings, okay, pra praising kings, okay, Alage and uh, Al-Biruni, Al-Biruni came to India er, in uh, early medieval, Okay, medieval and uh, he discuss about Indian conditions. Okay, book of, books of Al Biruni statements related Al Biruni Kitabul Hind. Okay, Kitabul Hind considered as a mirror of uh, 11th century. Okay, this is not UPSC based question. Okay, they may ask question from Kitabul Hind book. Okay, Kitabul Hind book. Okay they will take some uh, incidents okay position of women during the uh, 11th century okay position of shudra okay position of temples monastic life from kitabul hind a book lopal nunchi adugutadu okay book lopal nunchi adugutadu that is a upsd based question okay statement based questions uh, ki manam mental ga prepare ayyundali okay single line questions is outdated pattern right and art and architecture during uh, 750 to 1200 750 to 1200 okay and uh, 13th 14th century and gori invasions causes and consequences gori mahmad gori why mahmad gori invaded india okay mahmad gori related uh, poets and poets explaining about india so poet view may ask for in exam for example Okay, for example, uh, we have Al Biruni, we have a uh, uh, Shah Feradausi. Okay, Feradausi view lo India Gurinchi Adutadu, and a book lo India Gurinchi in Rasa Adutadu. Okay, Alage Al Biruni India Gurinchi in Rasa. Are we statement based Adutaru? Okay, single line questions and I mana expect Che Gurdu. Single line questions which I am Mananta Adrista on the Lavondaru, but uh, okay, UPSC in uh, uh, change the complete pattern. Okay, and uh, 12th chapter related to Delhi Sultanate. Okay, Delhi Sultanate divided into slave dynasty. Okay, after slaves, uh, Delhi Sultanate ruled by slaves. After slaves, Kiljis. After Kiljis, Tughlaqs. After Tughlaqs, uh, Sayyids. After Sayyids, Lodis. Okay, in this chapter, we study about Delhi Sultanate, especially slave dynasty. And from slaves dynasty, we study about uh, Balban, we study about El Tutmesh, we study about Aibak, and uh, especially Hindustani culture. Hindustani culture, Hindustani music, Hindustani dance, Hindustani architecture from Delhi Sultanate. This is the most important. Delhi Sultanate laid the foundation of Hindustani culture. Mughals developed Hindustani culture. Right? So, in-depth questions will get from Hindustani culture, from Delhi Sultanate, from Mughals. Okay, Alauddin Khilji. Alauddin Khilji, he belonged to Khilji dynasty, second dynasty from Delhi Sultanate. Okay. Alauddin Kilji conquest. Alauddin Kilji introduced some administrative changes. Okay, agrarian, economic measures, market reforms, administrative changes, dog. Okay, in military, dog, chera, and uh, market reforms. He divided markets into okay, grains market, cattle market, luxurious goods. Okay, controller of markets. Okay, medieval terminology come from this area. And in our uh, once exam, okay, during uh, Alauddin Kilji, during Alauddin Kilji, market reforms, okay, explained, uh, asked in the question, okay, Banjaras worked as a grain merchants, Banjaras worked as a grain merchants during uh, Alauddin Kilji. Okay, next chapter, Mahmud, Tughlaqs, Tughlaq, uh, uh, Tughlaq, Dynasty. In the dynasty, Mahmud bin Tughlaq is uh, invasions, 
okay mohammed bin tughlaq invasions firoz shah tughlaq okay decline of delhi sultanate decline of delhi sultanate okay during delhi sultanate what is the position of economy what is the position of trade and commerce trade and commerce and the development of cities destruction of cities okay taimur uh, destroy the delhi taimur destroy the delhi during uh, during uh, nasiruddin mahmud right and mystic movements means bhakti movement and sufi movement mystic movements in hinduism and islam okay mystic movements is in uh, hinduism is bhakti so in this concept we uh, we talked about uh, uh, we talked about uh, ramanujacharya vallabhacharya madhvacharya okay and nimbarka okay recently in uh, telangana in hyderabad in hyderabad the uh, prime minister inaugurated statue of equality okay that statue of equality definitely may get question in uh, 2022 upsc definitely we may get we may expect okay we may expect because uh, okay he was belongs to bhakti movement ramanujacharya was the founder of bhakti movement in south india okay he tried to promote equality that's why the statue was called as statue of equality statue of equality is definitely in 2022 question paper we may ex uh, we may get question from ramanujacharya we can expect but we should thoroughly read about ramanujacharya right and uh, sufism okay literature architecture technological changes okay we are uh, uh, in uh, medieval hindu temples is different from uh, muslim uh, architecture in islamic architecture you found arch dome minarets arch dome minarets okay fountains okay hydraulic technology etc etc right and uh, next chapter the 15th and early 16th century major provincial dynasties like vijayanagara vijayanagara empire lodi dynasty and uh, mogal empire babar humayun babar humayun sur dynasty sur means sher shah okay sher shah belong to sur dynasty sur dynasty okay administration administration related to moguls administrative relation to related to sher shah okay if there is no sher shah there is no akbar this is a famous statement right so in this chapter we study about sher shah administration okay administration changes introduced by the vijayanagara administrative for example we have uh, a custom we have a uh, year uh, simple in vijayanagara amarnayaka system vijayanagara amarnayaka system can compare with kakatiya nayankara system and uh, delhi sultanate uh, delhi sultanate jagirdari system moguls mansabdari system actually mansabdari system introduced by the sher shah in india later developed by the akbar so this type of changes may ask from this chapter right and uh, rise of sikhism sikh religion guru nanak kabir okay monotheistic movements bhakti growth of regional literature art and culture discussed in this chapter okay the mogal empire 15 uh, the mogal empire 1556 to 1707 it means uh, second battle of pani part 2 after death of uh, okay death of aurangzeb okay in this chapter we discuss about second battle of pani part 2 death of aurangzeb and uh, second battle of pani part akbar got victory over akbar got victory over uh, bairam khan sorry akbar got victory over vikramjit or hemu with the help of bairam khan with the help of bairam khan right and akbar conquest okay sindh invasion kandahar invasion okay malwa invasion bengal invasion kashmir invasion and uh, administrative changes means a mansabdari system okay bandobast system bandobast system okay and uh, jat rank sawar rank jagir mansab system policies of sulay kul okay sul a kul means peace to everyone this is a sufi concept okay akbar was considered as a greatest ruler of in this dynasty he showed religious tolerance because of sulay kul so in this chapter we discuss about akbar 
not only political conquest but also religious information religious information jahangir information shah jahan information aurangzeb information right and uh, expansion uh, aurangzeb expansion policy in deccan aurangzeb policy religious policy of aurangzeb religious policy of jahangir religious policy of uh, shah jahan we discussed in this chapter right and uh, in that sub topic was shivaji okay shivaji and related to uh, is a uh, is administration shivaji invasions okay establishment of maratha dynasty okay establishment of swaraj okay and uh, in this chapter we also discuss about persian and regional literature religious changes religious changes okay economic conditions and peasants artisan conditions growth of trade okay st status of women this all we discussed in this chapter and uh, this is the 16th chapter last chapter from medieval last chapter from medieval decline of mughal empire decline of mughal empire causes of uh, decline of mughal empire okay maratha power founder okay peshwas regional states afghans okay savai jay singhs okay this all discussed in this chapter okay modern india okay we should concentrate on modern india to get maximum score okay minimum 10 questions maximum 15 questions we can expect from uh, modern india okay in that uh, first topic was uh, british expansion how european powers came to india how they established the government how they established the kingdoms in uh, india okay how they captured bengal how they captured mysore okay how they captured mysore how they captured uh, uh, marathi region okay uh, we discuss in this chapter we discuss about wars with uh, bengal wars with uh, okay wars with bengal means battle of plassey battle of baksar okay wars with mysore first battle of mysore second battle of mysore okay and uh, related to treaties related to areas expansion of uh, uh, british and uh, ring fence policy ring fence policy okay doctrine of lapse doctrine of lapse and uh, uh, subsidiary alliance system this type of policies of british discussed in this chapter and in the next chapter we discuss about economic impact of british raj okay it means uh, collection of revenue collection of money collection of money okay drain of wealth dadabai Naroji explained about drain of wealth drain of wealth okay in as uh, poverty and british rule in india okay british started economic uh, systems revenue systems revenue settlements okay we have a jamindari system raithwari system mahalwari system okay we should thoroughly understand these uh, we should thoroughly understand these topics these concepts we should learn this concept okay raithwari vyavastha ante endi mahalwari vyavastha ante endi okay jamindari vyavastha ante endi ye pranthallo implement chesaru ye pranthallo okay enta tax collect chesaru enduku akkade implement chesaru and de industrialization okay india lo uh, income generate cheyali ante indian products nashtam cheyali british valaki okay british valaki ekku money generate kavalante indians nashtam cheyali de industrialization cheyali so all chesina policies okay how railways how railways impacted on de industrialization of india okay commercialization of agriculture means uh, instead of uh, wheat instead of uh, uh, rice they gave importance to uh, cultivation of cotton cultivation of sugarcane cultivation of uh, other indigo other materials and the uh, next chapter in this uh, chapter we discuss about uh, cultural changes social changes okay introduction of western education it means introduction of english education introduction of english education modern ideas okay indian renaissance socio religious reform movement means about brahma samaj arya samaj theosophical society and uh, ramakrishna movement okay ishwar chandra vidyasagar raja ram mohan rai swami vivekananda and henry vivian de razio balashasi jambekar uh, B.M. Malabari, these type of persons are uh, societies, secret societies, okay, and uh, religious societies, 
we may get questions from this topic this topic right and uh, position of women or uh, women reformation moments caste reformation moments middle class moments we study in this chapter okay and uprisings in that uh, 1857 one of the another important uh, chapter 1857 why 1857 revolt was started causes of uh, 1857 revolt nature of the 1857 revolt course of the 1857 revolt okay consequences Right, this is a major syllabus from a modern, okay, and uh, Indian freedom struggle, Indian freedom struggle, it means uh, from 1885 onwards, 1885 onwards, okay, growth of national con uh, consciousness, idea of nation, idea of nationalism, idea of nationalism, formation of associations, okay, we have uh, Bengal East India Association, okay, uh, we have uh, Banga, Association, okay, Pune Sarvajanik Sabha, Madras Mahajana Sabha, Bombay Presidency Association, Indian League, Indian Association, okay, these are the previous, previous or pre-Congress organizations, okay, Dada Bainavaraji started East India Association in London, East India Association in London, WC Banerjee and Dada Bainavaraji, these persons relations with the British, relations with the British and how they uh, getting benefits from the British, we discuss in this chapter. And uh, moderate pace, okay, moderates, Dada Bhai Nauroji, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, okay, and uh, Anand Mohan Bose, Dinsha Vacha, okay, based on their books, okay, in this chapter, we should concentrate on books of these national leaders, moderate leaders, and their uh, statements related uh, moderate moment, okay, statement related to national moment, Okay, and uh, newspapers, pamphlets, books related, these leaders, we should uh, learn this from this chapter. Okay, and uh, Swadeshi movement means uh, partition of Bengal, 1905. Partition of Bengal, 1905. This chapter we discuss in this uh, chapter. Right, growth of extremism. Growth of extremism. Reasons for the rise of extremism. Why Balagangadhar Tilak and uh, Vipin Chandrapal, Lala Rajpatra became extremists. Became extremist. Okay. And uh, 1907 split, Surat split. Why Congress split into two parts? Okay, Surat split. Okay, and uh, in this chapter, we also discuss about 1909 Minto Marle reforms, especially related to history. Okay, in quality, in depth, they discuss about uh, 1909 Minto Marle reforms, but in uh, history part, we discuss about only uh, split uh, 1909 Minto Marle reforms, that is. Uh, Okay, creation of separate electorates to minorities. That in-depth questions may come from this chapter. And uh, divide and rule policy of British. Divide and rule policy of British. Congress League Pact, 1916. 1916, that is the Lucknow Pact. Congress League Pact is nothing but Lucknow Pact. Okay, from we study in this chapter. And uh, next chapter is uh, Gandhi and his thought. Okay, Gandhi and era. Gandhi era, okay, Gandhi techniques of uh, mass mobilization, Khilafat movement, Khilafat movement and uh, Champaran Satyagraha, Ahmedabad uh, mill strike, Keda Satyagraha, okay, non-cooperation movement, Rowlet Act, Rowlet Satyagraha, okay, Rowlet Satyagraha, okay, non-cooperation movement, civil disobedience movement, Quit India movement, Quit India movement, we discussed in this chapter. And the nationalist movement, revolutionaries, Anushilan Samiti of Bengal, Anushilan Samiti of Dhaka, okay, and uh, Veera Savarkar, Savarkar brothers, Natu brothers, Chapekar brothers, assassination of Rand, okay, Sachindra Sanyal, Chandrasekhar Azad, okay, establishment of uh, HRA, Hindustan Socialist, Hindustan Socialist Republican Army or Association, HSRA, HRA, Kakori conspiracy case, second Lahore conspiracy, first Lahore conspiracy, okay, and even uh, in foreign, in, even in foreign leaders involved in the revolutionary activities, Madam Kama in uh, started movement in uh, Paris, okay, Shamji Krishna Verma, London, okay, in this topic we discuss about these all persons, individual revolutionaries, okay, Surya Sen, Indian National Army, 
okay, Azad, Hindu Fauz, Subhash, Chandra Bose, okay, these are the major uh, questions uh, we discuss in this chapter. And uh, Muslim League, Hindu Mahasabha, Muslim League, Hindu Mahasabha, okay, and the post-1945 uh, development partition and independence, okay, Indian independence and up to 1964, okay, uh, we discuss about uh, early uh, ruling up to 1964, means up to Nehru, right, planning committee, etc., etc., this is a major topics, right. How to prepare history? Okay, approach, approach to history, right, first we should uh, thoroughly read previ uh, previous question papers, definitely we should concentrate on past five years question paper, we should, call, for, for example, 2020, you are appearing 2022, up to 2015, you should collect previous question papers, okay, you should make a note, okay, how they are asking, you should analyze. Okay, based on that, you can easily frame future questions. You can easily guess future questions. That is one approach. Previous questions, Chadivinat Laite, Kachitanga questions, Yala Adutuna Ardam Jeskochu. Okay, minimum one or two questions definitely from history, they are connecting with current affairs. Connecting with current affairs. Best example, okay, in, the, in 2021, they asked about Dola Vira. Dola Vira, right? Okay, water irrigation system of Dola Vira. Because in uh, in this year only UNESCO gave World Heritage Site to Dola Vira. That's why we got question on Dola Vira. We got question on Dola Vira. And uh, in a 2020 exam, in a 2020 exam, okay, in a Nasik, in a, in Maharashtra, okay, Rukmabai health policy was uh, started by Maharashtra government because to give medical assistance to corona pandemic, corona pandemic affected people. Okay, dabbu na walaki health policies unte, peda walaki health policies levu, okay, sorry, corona effect in the okay, dadapu lakshal karcha uthun, wala kosamu health policies so, rukma by permit jesar. Rukma by related question was asked in a, asked in a, 2020 question paper definitely one or two questions coming from coming from history and current affairs history to current affairs kanak jesnaru rukmai bai case related to child marriages age of consent bill age of consent bill okay in uh, social religious reform movement we discuss about age of consent act okay rukmai bai case anedi manam chautam anamata rukmai bai case Rukma by case. Even ni guda manam question paper observation at the Adam Othundi. And uh, ancient medieval Chadweta put definitely we should follow map. Okay, for example, we are uh, studying uh, Mauryans. So definitely, definitely you should uh, add maps. We should add maps. You should compulsory maintain map. Mauryan map. Okay, for example, Mauryans divided. Mauryan Empire into four states. So, okay, this is for example, this is uh, India. Okay, this is Uttarapada. Uttarapada capital city was Takshila. Then you map. Okay, you should draw the map. And uh, Dakshinapada. Okay, Dakshinapada. This is another state. Karnul near Karnul. There is a Suvarna Giri. Suvarna Giri. So you should uh, map. Uh, you should uh, point. Okay, map pointing under the Ancient medieval lo kachitanga upayogi is not late equa gurtu bet kochu equa gurtu bet coach and mata. Okay, and uh, maniki modern lo kuda best for example raithwari system, mahalwari system, raithwari system, mahalwari system. Okay, we should uh, draw the map for example. Raithwari system implemented in Madras state, Madras state and Rayalaseema and Rayalaseema and South, South, South Sarkars and Bombay state, Bombay state, you should mark, you should mark like this. So you can easily, 
remember the point and uh, mahalwari system introduced in this area west northwestern part of india and uh, punjab central province and uh, jamindari system implemented in bengal bihar right you should mark different ikkada manam green upayogisi ikkada red upayoginchali ikkada blue upayoginchali ila chusinappudu easy ga a picture chudagane mana mind lo fix ayipothundi okay gupta chusinappudu gupta maatladukunnappudu okay gupta administer gupta invasions for example samudra gupta invasions aryavarta invasions border invasion south indian invasions ila nu marking cheskunnatlayite match map approach is the best approach map approach is the best approach to study to remember to remember ancient medieval especially related to kings and wars okay map based education gurtu pettukovali and the book list everyone should read old ncrts old ncrt plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 okay intermediate uh, intermediate first year intermediate second old ncrt you should compulsory follow ancient ancient medieval and modern okay you can easily available in internet okay old ncrt is uh, available in internet you can easily download from internet okay you should compulsory read ancient uh, medieval and modern ncrts uh, ancient uh, ncrt book written by professor r sharma and professor r sharma also released uh, a book that is uh, india ancient past india ancient past maniki ncrt ne koddiga elaborate chesi rasadu ancient india ki india ancient past an cheppesi india ancient past an cheppesi that book ane compulsory chadavalsinde and uh, for ancient terminology ancient terminology okay definitely we should follow vk agnihotri or uh, krishna reddy book krishna reddy book if you follow these two books or uh, either uh, either vk agnihotri or krishna reddy rendu jadavalsu endukante that was very large books rendu jadithe manam ibbandi padtamo okay ee books lo terminologies chaala ekkuva ichcharu ancient aipogona terminology medieval aipogona terminology modern aipogona terminology and uh, upsc 1 or 2 questions are in match the following okay four points coming from uh, uh, terminology mood mood padalu ichi danni match the following antaru so kachithanga manam aa terminology paina grip sampadinchali ancient terminology middle medieval terminology and modern terminology right these terminologies are we have found in uh, vk agnihotri krishna reddy books krishna reddy books and medieval okay medieval we should follow satish chandra okay satish chandra medieval india even uh, old ncrt written by professor satish chandra professor satish chandra okay medieval india aina two volumes book elaborate ga raayadam jarigindi should follow that books and irfan abib irfan abib also wrote medieval india okay from this book also we are getting questions from medieval india if you, you should also follow this books and for modern you should definitely come we should definitely complete complete old ncrt modern india that was written by bipan chandra bipan chandra not bipin chandra bipan chandra right bipan chandra wrote a book called india ancient india struggle for independence that is must read you should read right and shekhar bandopadhyay placid to partition placid to partition another, another important book placid to partition okay and uh, to easily study to easily understand the modern okay we should uh, study spectrum modern india spectrum modern india S sir naaku bipan chandra ardham gaatledu okay shekhar bandopadhyay ardham gaatledu ante aithe konni varaku kuda spectrum lo cover chestha unnadu shekhar bandopadhyay chadalekapothe spectrum jadavandi okay konni questions indlo cover avutayi konni danlo cover avutayi okay grover and grover vk agnihotri and uh, krishna reddy ivi manaki major books an cheppali right and art and architecture art and culture nios nios indian culture uh, and heritage and indian and uh, india art and art culture by nitin singhania these two books was uh, necessary to study okay remember in uh, offline classes we are starting offline classes from uh, 14th february okay from 14 february we are starting offline classes by 5 o'clock okay in history we definitely give 100% effort 
ఓకే ఇక్కడ నేను మెన్షన్ చేసిన ప్రతి బుక్ని కవర్ చేసి ఒక మంచి మెటీరియల్ మనం తయారు చేసుకున్నాము ఓకే దట్ మెటీరియల్ విల్ బీ ప్రొవైడెడ్ టు స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే ఇవి మనకి ఎగ్జామ్లో ఇచ్చే అవకాశం ఓకే ఐ కవర్ దీస్ ఆల్ బుక్స్ ఐ కవర్ దీస్ ఆల్ బుక్స్ ఫర్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ యూ కెన్ ఆస్ ఎన్ షార్ట్ బాక్స్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ ఆస్క్ మీ okay some person asking previous upsc history book available okay you should follow these all books you should follow these all books if you have any doubts you can ask me in the chat okay please follow these all books okay in our uh, previous uh, in our offline classes i cover these all books and prepared a, a smart notes as more i will we will provide a smart notes okay if you join in uh, offline classes definitely you will get this much of the good uh, information okay you can ask me any doubts okay i will explain about uh, if you are doubts you can post in the live chat okay any doubts okay spectrum is enough for uh, modern right uh, spectrum is not enough for the modern but uh, uh, see definitely you should follow definitely you should follow old ncrt old ncrt okay after completion of old ncrt read uh, spectrum modern india if you have time if you have time okay uh, study bipan chandra okay in our offline classes we cover all these books okay ivanni nenu scrutinize chesi oka manchi notes share chesamu okay offline classes lo aa notes anedi provide cheyadam jarugutundi okay if you uh, please join in uh, uh, fresh batch okay fresh batch start from 14th february okay we will provide a, a good notes good note for this uh, people okay minimum you should follow two books okay spectrum and dipan chandra right any other doubt any other doubts okay thank you and uh, anyone if you have any doubts you can ask me otherwise we'll uh, end the session okay uh, we should respond as early as possible then only uh, i can explain or otherwise i'll end the session any replies okay shall i end the class okay please join uh, please join in our uh, offline classes offline classes we provide uh, offline classes for very low prices okay from 14th february onwards uh, we are uh, providing offline classes uh, in ashok nagar hyderabad okay this uh, institution faimandra career point uh, located uh, opposite to balaji darshan in ashok nagar okay near ashok nagar uh, junction okay and uh, remember remember the phone number also 7075019931193 okay uh, please note the phone number uh, you can call and you can enquire about uh, admissions uh, at the cheapest price we are giving a uh, best coaching okay because of corona okay here we started giving uh, uh, le at less price right okay if you have any doubts you can ask me okay thank you i am ending the session thank you